I'm going to talk to you about five new colours of the Sand Eel Pencil. They're coming out soon and we're calling it the Sand Eel Pencil SW, which obviously means salt water. These are five brand new colours, plus they come rigged with proper salt water hooks. I spent a lot of time playing with these lures to find the right trebles for the 90, the 125 and the 150, the right sizes and how to rig them. Plus, we're also giving single hooks with each lure because obviously some people like using single hooks on the back of their lures. Now, I make no apologies for being utterly obsessed with these sand eel pencils. They've sort of, they've crept up on me from when I first got samples, God, we're talking what, probably nearly two years ago now, when, you know, I've always asked for a fixed hook version of the line through sand eel, because a fixed hook version made sense to me. And when I first got these samples of the 125, the pencil 125 through, I kind of saw them as a surf fishing lure. They just made sense because they cast so well, you know, so well, so easily. They're kind of quite stable in rough conditions, plus they go very shallow. They made sense to me as a surf fishing lure, but you know what it's like. You start playing, you start experimenting, you start thinking. And it's the way I'm wired. I, I take something and sometimes, you know, over a period of time, so-and-so lure or method or location, whatever, grows and kind of gestates on me. And I, I got to thinking about these lures and eventually I came to the conclusion, you know, I now know why I obsess about them so much. I see the sandy old pencil as a kind of long range soft plastic. Why? Because they're so subtle how they swim. I like subtle lures. You know, when I first started bass fishing, I wanted every lure to move and jangle and do as much as possible. But the more I get into bass fishing, the more I am convinced that less is so often more, a lot more of the time than I ever realized. And these sand eel pencils just fit that kind of bill for me. They cast a country mile, they let me cover a huge amount of water, but they're so subtle on the retrieve. I had a few situations last year at night, actually. We were fishing, you started to do well on the pencil, one, two, five size. And then I go back the next night and, you know, for some reason, the bass wouldn't touch the one, two, five. I thought, you know, why the hell not? So I thought, mm, okay, let's try it. So I put the 90 on, the small 90, which is not a big lure. First chuck, bang. You know, one night we found them dialed in on that little pencil 90. Next night, the one, two, five but I like them, they're so subtle. You know, like a long range plastic. There's nothing exaggerated. There's no massive, massive kind of movement. There's a little rattle in them I really like. And obviously this new, these new salt water versions, these new colors, they all come rigged with proper trebles, you know, proper, proper salt water trebles. And I know how good they are. I've used them loads. The more I go bass fishing, how many times is less actually more. 